Here's one reason why Walmart will continue to raise their prices. Let's see exactly what's going on. Someone did mention um, medications coming in at a even with tomatoes, this is not usual. I mean, I know we be low over here in my parts of New Jersey, but. Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back to another video. It is Wednesday. I wanna jump right into some of the comments that you all have been sharing, address some concerns, and basically enjoy the rest of the week. This is Shauna, and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments With Us. You guys check in. Let us know where you're watching from and how you are doing. We have some stuff happening with Walmart that we would like to go ahead and discuss today. Some more price increases expected very, very soon. So stay tuned. All right, let's get right into it. While some people are against buying fruits from Walmart, here's what someone picked up. Some people honestly just don't have that choice but to shop at Walmart due to Walmart taking over, you know, a lot of especially small towns. Um, anyhow, we cut into a Walmart, excited to eat it, but it was Falman. What does that mean? They said, we've been told to stop getting fruits from Walmart, but never listen. So here's some insight of what other people had to share. Someone did share we get all of our fruits and vegetables at farm stores or Publix. Nothing ever foam. Walmart's fruits or vegetables. Walmart uses a pill, coated fruits and veggies, just like a lot of other stores. While this person said that, someone actually came through and said this. I'd rather have Walmart produce and I had Publix. Everything I get from Publix is rotten within two days so definitely everyone shops and prefer their items at different places um just because one person's experience is one thing doesn't mean the next person is going to be the same and as mentioned before maybe walmart is the only place that people have the shop just because walmart did kick out a lot of small businesses as we discussed in the past um walmart did kick out a lot of small businesses and leaving Walmart the only place for people to shop. Otherwise, they would have to travel miles and miles and miles to get to the next store. How many of you are buying fruit, you know, your produce at Walmart still? I know some of you actually are. I know I buy certain produce and fruit still at Walmart. And I, I never have an issue like with their apples or their oranges. The main thing that I had a problem with at Walmart was definitely like their pineapples and their mangoes always had an issue with those so if you want a heads up on if we're going to be cutting into our budget more than what we have been from judy pepper herself your walmart associate here prices are going up again also there's a lot of flooding on the mississippi river which may have an impact on food deliveries stay safe keep your head on a swivel and stock up checking in from north west georgia thank you so much judy typically coming through in the comments checking in and letting us know what is going on once again thanks for that heads up so you guys if you're used to going to walmart walmart is your go-to walmart is my go-to um we already know that prices are expected to go up but specifically for walmart prices are still going to be going up. Walmart is no longer the cheapest place to shop as we've been doing for quite a few years now. Shopping at different stores to get the best deals definitely have been something. I think Walmart and Aldi prices are very comparable. I think with Aldi at least, Aldi have <clears throat> some items that's cheaper than Walmart and Walmart have some items that's cheaper than Aldi vice. You know, it's the same vice versa. Someone did ask, what is the price for a steak in your state? In New Hampshire, sirloin tips are $10.99 a pound. It's more than lobster and fish. So when it comes down to steak, it definitely, well, prices in general, it varies by state, right? So here over in New Jersey, I've seen that steak go up to like maybe $13 and change, $14 and change. Of course, depending on where you shop so let us know what's the price of steak in your neck of the woods 
back in the day oh how i miss it so tl florida came through and said you know when i was a little kid my mom would send me to the neighborhood butcher and i asked for wings neck bones and scraps he'd give them to me and they were always so good now they cost a fortune like chicken wings for instance you know don't hardly have any meat up there but yet it's one of the most expensive you know, meats beside, you know, in the chicken department at least, right? Um, beside breast, chicken breasts have went up tremendously as well. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, y'all. So, yes, something that used to cost little to nothing, now you check the price on that sticker, you like, oh, incomplete total sticker shock. It's just, like I said, it's just ridiculous, y'all. Price is going up in every single department. Thank you so much for sharing that with us in the comments. Also, was checking in from Broome County, New York. Thank you for coming through and checking in. I see you checked in a few times in the comments. So, thank you for coming through and checking in. All right. So, from Laura, who's also checking in from New Jersey. Um, So, prices are crazy here in New Jersey, as I'm sure you would know. Yes, I know. New apartments in Woodbridge. Two bedrooms for $3,500. It's crazy. And you know what? I can only agree because even down in the yeah. worst parts of New Jersey, like for North New Jersey, I'll be checking in from North, um, born and raised, you can now find a one bedroom in North New Jersey, which is considered the hood, right? Um, going for about $2,000. Sorry, y'all going to hear the kids in the background. Um, going for about $2,000 for a one bedroom and you walking up the street to see, you can only imagine. So yes, $2,000. The cost of the cost of living in general definitely eats into everyone's budget. Not only for if you're a renter, but even if you're mortgage, your home insurance, everything is going up. So I'm seeing more and more homelessness even happening now and in the very near future. The only thing that's saving a lot of people right now, especially, I guess, in my area, I'm hearing at least for the court systems to process evictions. The, the log is so long to get a court date that people are just living you know in these apartments and they can't afford to pay rent they're not paying rent whatever the case may be the landlord can't just kick them out um they have to wait to be evicted the courts are so backed up with the evictions right now that people are just living in these apartments rent free because they can't afford to pay rent it's just it, it's crazy like i said the cost of living in general definitely is a main it's, it's a huge concern especially in the United States. I can only speak for the United States because I'm from the United States, y'all. Um, especially in the United States because, as mentioned plenty of times, people got to work two to three jobs to build up the United States. We're working from the, for them, right? To build up the United States, the money go back into them for us to not be able to live where we're paying for to live at. It's ridiculous. So, Laura, I definitely understand. It's, it's a very frustrating topic truly it is um and i think one person mentioned before the last uh, we got a comment it was so rude um i can't even remember it because i try to put that stuff to the back but it was something on the lines of you can change your circumstances and something like like oh you put your you know you, you put yourself like speaking as everyone everyone put their self in their own you know situation because you can only control what you do basically everybody do not have the same opportunities. I'm going to say it just like that because it's true. No matter how people look at it, not everyone have the same opportunities. And some things are just out of people's hands. It's out of their control. And unfortunately, you know, everyone face a different journey. And it is what it is. It is what it is. Everyone's cards are not dealt the same. And that's that. Um, but we're going to continue to do the best that we can do while we can do it. Because everybody, uh, maybe not everybody, but hey, who am I to say they're not? Everybody is trying their best. Everybody is trying to make way. Okay? And that's that. 
All right, Shannon from Miss Tonette. I have never seen ground beef looking like that in a store. And that looks like Kroger, which usually have fantastic meat. Up near my brother's nursing home in Louisville, they closed down a big lot earlier in the year. Unfortunately, I did not go that trip, but my sister said they had 75% off of everything. I slowed down my stocking up, but I may pick it back up again. Thank you, Tonette. It's always love when you come through and share in the comments. I always appreciate your comments. Um, Yeah, so definitely something to touch on here. The closing out sales. They're saying that Big Lots is actually planning to close down their store. So if you do have a Big Lots near you, they did not re release a date yet. Um, But if you do have a Big Lots near you, it's definitely worth going by, checking in, and just seeing if they have any sales or if they're possibly going to close down. Because then... You can go ahead and, you know, start getting your little stockpile going for the low. Um, also, another thing, slowing down on stocking up, as many of us have done because of financial issues. Yes, everything is becoming so expensive and a lot of us are actually already going into our stockpile. But the important thing is to rotate and refill whenever you can because prices are just going to keep going up. It's nothing that we can really do about it unless we're going to stop buying. And we know, we know for a fact that everyone is not going to just stop buying because then what are we going to do? Um. So yeah, be cautious. Use whatever it is that you have to use and refill those gaps whenever you can. Don't forget about the pantries. Pantries, pantries, pantries are great to build off of your stockpile actually to start up your stockpile um in general if you need just that extra support do not forget about those food pantries in today's world we are all well maybe not all but most of us are cutting back and we all have tighter budgets once again most of us have tighter budgets and we just trying to you know make way and it is what it is so thank you tonette for coming through and sharing that with us in the comments so from Gas Terrific Muncher came through and said the spaghetti is two times shorter than before COVID. And you know what? I can actually agree because y'all know how when y'all about to cook some spaghetti noodles and you got to break the noodles in half. I'm breaking maybe a little under half for it to fit completely in the pot. And no, I just didn't change up my pot. I ain't using a bigger pot. The noodles actually have shrunk. That's strange. I never noticed that until... I read this comment. I'm like, you know, what? I just made some spaghetti and I didn't even have to break the noodles all the way. I just had to break off that very end for the noodles to fit, basically. But yeah, thank you for sharing that. From Wild Wanning 9427 said, well, the elites would be delighted if people stop buying meat altogether as that is their plan. Then we can start eating Z-Bugs. And yes, their seasonings are a cut above. We're talking about Trader Joe's when it comes down to the seasoning. So yes, when they go ahead and pull all of these bugs and pull all of these um, lab-grown meat and it start hitting the shelves left to right, left to right, left to right, then people will wake up and see, oh, wow, this is part of the plan. No no crap, we couldn't afford, we couldn't afford that beef or now we can't afford a pack of, a pack of chicken. But yet the cultivated meat me just hitting, he, sitting here for five dollars we could afford that though so yeah definitely a part of that plan definitely so just watch out all right we're gonna touch on this lastly just a few things um to touch on Cons talking about the bird flu so i came across this post on um facebook so it says warning bird flu food rations government using fake pandemic in world war three to destroy the supply chain so josh reports on the mess recalls of food across the board as farmers are forced to call nearly 100 herds of cows due to the bird flu hoax spreading quickly throughout the mainstream and alternative medias alike with millions of chickens called and governments demanding farmers to kill their herds this hoax is getting out of control the use of PCR tests on chickens is a joke and finding whether these animals are sick or not, especially considering the vast majority of these chickens called have zero symptoms whatsoever. 
This isn't stopping the propaganda from escalating dramatically. Both mainstream and mainstream alternative medias are spreading fear mongering about the so-called bird flu of H5N1. This is helping push the agenda to destroy the food supply further, in which turn leads to food rations on carbon and social credits attached to a CBDC. The scripted World War III storyline is also leading to rations as the German government claims they will force conscriptions and food rations soon in a potentially inevitable fight with Russia. The rest of the NATO countries are likely to see a similar scenario. They're destroying the food supply on one hand and poisoning the remaining food supply on the other. There's a reason why the elites are building bunkers and stocking up. Are you prepared or will you fall for their tricks and kiss their rings? Mm, mm, mm. That's another way to look at it. Some of the responses was, I love this post. Someone says, right, why not? But then how can we go towards eating worms like chickens? Then someone said, I'd rather flatten the government leaders. And then someone said, which makes sense. If it's so deadly, leave them and they will be dead by tomorrow. Why you have to go call, call, call all of them? Like they will be dead if it's so deadly, right? Then the last person came through and said, when they can't push COVID anymore, they need something new. So yes, um, definitely something to think about if you're kind of not there yet and you kind of on the verge of seeing everything happen, but don't know why it's happening. And you kind of feel like it's being done. It feels like it's being done on purpose. And now you're starting to think some of this stuff is being done on purpose. Trust me, you're on to something. You're definitely on to something. You're probably being awakened or awake now to see exactly what's happening. And then we see posts like this. Food recalls are increasing in frequency as we get closer to the nuclear war. Trying to ban our meat while the government is restocking deep underground military bases so they can eat like kings. Mm. And then some bit of a backfire here. Instead of killing millions of chickens because of bird flu. Couldn't we just lock them down in a coop for two weeks to flatten the curve? Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that something? Like they said, to flatten the curve. Couldn't y'all just lock them up for a bit? Mm-hmm. And if the chickens were so deadly, wasn't they going to die anyway? Wasn't they just going to die anyway? But it is what it is. We're going to leave this video right here where it is at. If you are new here um, and you did enjoy today's comments, and I guess a few reports. Um, go ahead and subscribe to join the family. Turn the notification bell on so you will not miss an upload. We also do walkthroughs and certain reports. Over here at Moments with us prepping, trying to stay ahead of the game. You know, we only can do exactly what we can do. And of course, when I'm checking in, if you are new, I'm always checking in from New Jersey. So until next time, family, hopefully you all have an amazing rest of your week. Happy Wednesday. This is Shauna, and I'm officially checking out from Moments with us. Make sure you all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. Most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings. Peace. Thank you.